Hello my soccer universe! I'm shooting this uh, Saturday before Easter Sunday and I thought I don't want to give you another unpacking video because I mean although I have a few you know too much is it's, it's just too much all it at once has decided on another short video and so I'm going through my uh, Excel sheet with all the jerseys that I have and that I've already covered and I see that yeah I have not shown you my PSV Eindhoven um, home jersey that I got I want to say it was 2020 so quite quite a while ago and I thought it was quite fitting because a still with the Europa League background yes it uh, PSV shirt was hanging where the last shirt is and B, on Easter Sunday is the Dutch Cup final and PSV and Hoven is playing these guys, Ajax. And so, there you have it. This will be the lineup for the Dutch Cup final, which promises to be a great game with the only uh, disadvantage for PSV and Hoven. Ajax could rest the entire week, whereas PSV, not so much. They had a game against Leicester that they lost. And, uh, yeah, slightly dramatic circumstances in a way. But... That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this jersey that was actually worn in two seasons. It's 10, 11 and 11, 12. Uh, in both seasons, PSV finished third. Although if you look at the squads from uh, both seasons, the first season you don't recognize as that ma that many players. I mean, I both that goalie Isaacson, um, they had, um, of course, um, Jermaine Lenz, then I think they were uh, boring Berg in the first season, but in the second season I suddenly see players that are really sound, it's uh, familiar. Wilfried Boomer, Ola Teuwonen, they all had it of, 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 of both seasons, then they had Gini Vinaldum, Dries Mertens, I mean those are really, really, really uh, big names even now, so it was a time of change, it was not very maybe the best time to be a PSV supporter, however this one had a pretty good uh, feel overall and of course uh, before I go into the details on, on the front this one has a name and is of course the captain of that season Kevin Strutman um, Strutman I think it's probably in, in, in Dutch which was kind of an additional nice thing uh, to have the way I got it I think I bought it on this local flea market page Will Haben I want to say I paid 20 at most 25 for it, so uh, rather, rather happy. I knew I needed a PSV shirt. You know that I'm in the Netherlands. Yeah, Ajax uh, is a team that captured me in the mid-90s. So uh, PSV was uh, was not necessarily my team. Although I think they were... Uh, nah, I saw Ajax before PSV, knowing, knowing of course they had the UEFA Cup run. And then the PSV was in the, in the Champions League. But I knew I wanted to have a PSV shirt. They had a few interesting ones from from the 90s, but but in the end, this this is this, this the one that was the most reasonable uh, to get price wise uh, in the used car condition. I actually like it because you have the classic PSV uh, um, badge, you have the two stars, and then it's a very very classic. PSV design with the red and white stripes. Yes, the, what they have this season with the red and then the thin pin stripes uh, is in a way more the PSV that I know. But I have to say, as for a classic pattern, I do like this a little bit more. Uh, interesting the way the sleeve cuffs uh, grow a little bit larger here on the top side. Uh, it's of course this very uh, interesting um, Nike material that's a little bit rough on the in inside but kind of uh, sturdy but for me the big thing here is and uh, I'm, I hope that the camera will pick it up if you look at the strapping you see there's a checkerboard pattern checkerboard pattern which of course is a reference to uh, the province of Brabant where uh, PSV or Eindhoven is in so uh, that's actually a really really nice touch I also like that um, it's always a good, a good, good, good idea if you have a striped jersey to have a third color to kind of trim it with. And I think if red, red and white, the black makes total sense, the three strongest colors in many ways. Now on the back, you see already the one flaw of this shirt. And this is one that made me kind of unhappy because I washed this, I think, for twice. And then the Freya sponsor started to come off. <clears throat> yeah, I think it could be repaired, but you know. 
I have been going rather easy on the shirt. Most of the time it's hanging like this on the back of the, um, um, you know, on the wall here. So I think I can just about live with it. I have to have, have to say the printing is rather, an, it's an interesting print uh, numbering style. And then you know, on the bottom you have the name, but I, for, for instance, the T, I really like how the gold, it make, make, makes it nice, but then there's a little bit of roundedness. The same goes here for the six. So I think it's an interesting style. I Honestly, I really, really like this shirt. Also, uh, it has the motto of the club, Eintrag macht macht. So I think together uh, we are strong, or you know, uh, unity makes strength in a way. And it also is, and this was a feature of most of the 2010 shirts, you have the same here written on the inside of the crest. We which I think was a nice, nice touch. Something that didn't really catch on. And of course, the Philips sponsor, because the PNPSV, of course, stands for Philips. It's a Philips Sportverein in Eindhoven, so uh, it needed to have a Philips. I was always wondering, uh, if you look at the crest, how at the circle there is some um, rounded shape. Uh, should this be light bulbs, maybe? It looks like looks slightly like it but in any case i have to tell you this is a shirt i always at the moment i i, I saw it i thought this as for a classic psv look this is really as good as it gets of course there are more classic shirts but i love the checkerboard pattern i love the uh, medium striping it's beautiful and i love that it's uh, trimmed in black and you see even on the bottom there's a slight black trim so uh really really enjoyed that so yeah let me know what you think about this jersey uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and i will talk to you soon bye i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that you're on the full day.